This is Tom Dillon, The Lifetime Liberal, and today is Wednesday, April 13th, 2022. The title of this rant is Power to the People. Will unions succeed where Congress has utterly failed? Uh, so since the Powell Memorandum in 1973, uh, which basically for the Republicans has replaced the Constitution, there has been a total onslaught uh, against the proletariat. Unions have been crushed and the minimum wage has been decimated. Now, of course, this was going on all before, uh, but democracy and the Democrats had a brief reprieve, let's just say from 33, 35, 1933 to 35 to the mid 70s, early 70s. After that, pretty much the Republicans have gotten everything they wanted in terms of crushing uh, the average working American. And basically, uh, this is the GOP grand plan for living, which is to crush uh, uh, the proletariat and to keep them impoverished. And of course, in Congress, with the filibuster, uh, the minimum wage has been stuck at seven twenty-five an hour for I don't know fifteen years, almost that amount of time, and it, it hadn't risen. It hadn't risen like in eight or ten years before that. Uh, it, no one can possibly live. Uh, a, a life uh, on the minimum wage. Uh, now, as we know, several Starbucks, yay. Uh, one Amazon, big, big victory uh, for unions. And let's just pause right there uh, to remind everyone that um, there are law firms in the United States that specialize in crushing unions or the start of uh, uh, unions organizing in, in, in different areas. They do tremendous amount of legal and even a greater, probably a greater amount of illegal work to crush unions all over the place. And of course, the question always is, what does your mommy or daddy do for work? Well, you know, he specializes in impoverishing Americans by crushing unions. That's really a great thing. Uh, but will these courageous young workers at Starbucks, at Amazon, at Walmart, at Sam's Club, and a whole host of other places all over the United States. Will they have enough wherewithal and courage so that there can be more unions in the United States? Because you're not going to get anything out of Congress. And basically, uh, to have a union, to have a living wage, so that we can increase the standard of living for millions of Americans. This is a great opportunity. Let's hope and let's pray that this happens because let's put it this way, uh, the pushback by Amazon and Starbucks, it's not going to, I mean, it's not going to stop. It's not going to decrease. They were putting all the stops out to start it even before it started. And now that it started, they're going to even put in more uh, pushback, more illegality to crush these unions. Let's pray that unions take a foothold in the United States and that the proletariat will not be continually impoverished in this country.